Hey everyone, it's Chase with Legend Tech Tuesday, and in this video we're going to be talking about rebound. But not the creepy rebound like Teresa was on after you made out with her at the Christmas party and then you guys dated for three weeks. That's the bad rebound. This is the good rebound. Hey everyone, we're back with another Legend Tech video. And in this one, we're gonna be going over shock rebound. There's lots of different models here and they all adjust a little bit differently. So we're gonna go over the features and benefits of the rebound adjuster, why you would want it, how it's adjusted and what its uses are for. So we'll start over here with something like the Air A shock. And on this one here, your rebound adjuster is on the bottom. Across the board, they're all gonna pretty much be on the bottom except on the mono shock, and we'll get to that in a minute. But on the bottom here, you've got a rebound adjuster. It's got six numbers on it. So the number on the bottom is the setting that you're on. And when you turn this dial, what it's gonna do is it's gonna speed up or slow down the movement that the shock extends open. Why would you want that? I'm glad you asked. So as you're riding on various road conditions or different riding styles, you may prefer that your shock perform at a different speed. Whether you're stunt riding, long distance riding, cruising through canyons, just cruising down the interstate, there are gonna be settings here that are gonna be more ideal for each one of those scenarios. Now, it's not, hey, I'm 280 pounds, so I gotta run on setting five. This is nothing but a preference dial. It controls the shock to your liking. We get that question a lot. What setting do you recommend for me? And it's not quite that simple because everybody feels soft and firm a little bit differently. So it's best that once you set your suspension sag on any of these shocks, it's your shock. Ride through all these settings, try them all out. It's gonna be very easy to process of elimination these different settings and figure out what you do and don't like. For instance, we generally would tell most people, start on setting three. That's a good happy medium of comfort and performance. As you go up in numbers, four, five, and six, that shock rebound is going to slow down. That's generally gonna give a perceived firmer feel. If you go lower in numbers, so, you know, three, two, or one, that's actually going to speed up once the shock is compressed, the speed it's extending back open. So there are tuning scenarios for these based on if you hit a corner and you get a little bit too much bounce, you may need to slow down your rebound and go to a higher number. On the other end, if you hit a bump and it feels too firm, you can generally go to a lower rebound number and speed that up and it will give a bit softer feel. A very common mistake that we get is somebody will put a set of shocks on the bike they will adjust the sag one time, say for a solo rider, and then think instead of adjusting the coil for the weight that you're adding, that they can just turn this to a higher or lower number. And that's not the case. This is going to adjust the movement of the shock. And it's very, very, very dependent on whether or not your air pressure is right or your coil tension is right. So this is gonna be what you're setting first, this is adjusted afterwards to your preference. Um, we have models that have adjuster dials and we have models that don't. The benefit of the adjuster dial is that you're kind of getting six sets of shocks in one or on like a Revo ST model, you've got three adjustments. You're just getting a bigger range of adjustment to help you fine tune specifically what it is you're looking for. These dials have nothing to do with, well, I just cruise long distance, I'm not a stunt rider. That does not matter one bit. Everyone can benefit from these dials because it is just helping you find what is perfect for you. It is a performance aspect, but it is not based on you don't need it because you don't ride a certain way, okay? so. You may love six, you may love three. A stunt rider may, might like six, might like three. It doesn't matter. So any of these models, like a standard Revo, would be this exact same shock, just doesn't have this dial on it. Out of one through six, the standard Revo is always on setting three. Happy medium, good comfort, good performance. 
But if you want some additional adjustments, that dial's nice to have and you can get that on just about any of the models. We're gonna have standard across the board Air A models. So this is a mono shock. Um, this one here would be for the newer soft tails. This model is only available in the adjustable model here. On an air suspension for touring models and just about everything else, we're gonna have air A, which is what you see here. And then we're also gonna have standard air, which is just always on setting three, same shock, no dial. On the coil soft tail model here, um, this is gonna be for more of your twin cam soft tails, 2000, 2017. These are all gonna come equipped with this rebound adjuster. Same adjustment, you've got one, two, three. What you would use each one of those settings for is broke down in the install guide, very easy to understand. And then you've got Revo Revo A, and then we've also got the ARC model here. This one is gonna have the most rebound adjustment on it. This one will have seven adjustments to it. Um, this one and the Monoshock work slightly different than something like a Revo A, where this dial will spin clockwise and stop and spin counterclockwise and stop. This one will infinitely spin. The number you stop on is the number you're on. On this one here, once you turn it clockwise, it has stopped. That clockwise is going to be the firmest setting. That's your equivalent setting seven. So as you back this setting off of here, that is going to speed up the shock. So there's a basic overview of these there are tons of tuning options to be done with rebound. It is not for one specific style of rider. The dial numbers are not made so that you love all of the settings. They are made so that within these settings, you find what you like the best. So if you have any questions, shoot us an email, service at legendsuspensions.com or check in with your local motorcycle shop. They'd be happy to answer. These are standard questions, we get them all the time. So hopefully you find this video helpful on what the rebound adjuster actually does, the type of range that it can be used in from your casual cruiser all the way to a bike that's going down the Bonneville Salt Flats. There are, um, you know, just everything that you would need is all in one package here, depending on what your options, you know, are for your preferences. So again, shoot us an email if you have any questions and we'll see you next time.